Alex Cloud 2275 stream. I hope you are all doing well this fine day. I'm doing good, just getting myself ready for another rousing round of God of War. Sorry, I just gotta get my app open. Have a quick audio check, make sure I'm not in. Let's see what it's like. I don't hear an ooh. I actually don't hear anything. What do I hear now? Cool. No, that's fair. Nope, these headphones are. Okay, uh, unfortunate for those headphones, but we are back in the game. Let's go. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Okay. Let's run down here, keep an eye out for any of those. Any of Odin shit birds. Look at that. Here's Sundry on the go again. That could be Brock this day. We might just subvert. <laughs> no expectations. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I <coughs> thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck. We have no armor to cho choose from. What does this do? Ah, that's a health burst. That is really useful. Are we any 
magic damage increase. That's also useful, but that eliminates a lot of strength. And more runic damage. Okay. The armor is well suited for both battle and study. It is infused with runic power for those who came before. What about your son? What'll it be? I'll take him. This must be from Alfheim. Explains the, uh, ugh, sand. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? It fits. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. He's dwarven steel for all of them. But. Just yes, he is. Still got a resurrection stone. Any weapons I can do? No, no. Stone wood and rock. One we got equipped. May it strike true. Oh, their deaths will be painless. Ish. Good enough for me. Let's see what skills we can do. Got one seven. I think I see something. The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. 
Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, Tyr. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this, then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw no, you. No, Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So, what'd you see? A lot. Groa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife, those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home. Much to discuss. Used to be a Nornir chest down here. Guess they moved it. Uh, speaking of that, what did you see?
we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. One of those light bombs! Careful! Speaking of that, I have been neglecting my B-Siri reads. That's Aesir, Elves. Like, oh, alright, knocking back them, knocking off their mask uh, with a blow to the head can leave them open for a strong attack, easy to stun. When they throw explosive uh, material, here's an idea, throw it right back at them. Okay. Elven warriors are more than proficient with their blades, you'll need to focus properly make it through a door with one unscathed and mystics prefer to keep their distance not emotionally I'm sure they're quite forthcoming with their thoughts and feelings amongst their comrades but as a battle tactic they are masterful at conjuring difficult to dodge range attacks getting close gives you the upper hand against their weak forward defense see if you can help close the gap by say tripping them up with a well placed axe throw <laughs> See if you can parry the dashing slash to open him up to attack counter attack. Okay. Now, 
out before more arrives. <laughs> Okay. Focus, Atreus. This way. Save that stone for this. But this is what happens. I needed a reminder of the lesson. Ah! 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 Ah!
I think I'm a little too used to the original God of War where Triangle just brings the axe straight to me. Sorry, I'm just being sent bullshit promo codes for ghost views and stuff. 
<sighs> Thought I was wrong with a half important message. Good news. of expedition warring that grants uh, a blessing of cooldown when interrupting double blue rings attacks or parry okay Who was I just fighting? Elves. Slayer. Light Elf Slayer. Slayers prefer a dual sword approach to combat. I've heard tell that they feel more in control when both hands are in sync. It's kicking a, a move rather than one hand uh, attack, one hand block. If they weren't so deadly, their moves could likely pass as a dance. One I'd pay decent hack silver to see. Uh, perhaps in a less tumultuous time, elves can lay down their weapons for the pursuit of elegant pastimes other than war. And Alva. Winters ago, we defeated. Winters ago, we defeated the dark. Ah, Kratos' voice. Winters ago, we defeated the dark elf. Is vaulting for. It appears his, in his absence, a new guardian of the Temple of Light was anointed. Her swordsmanship and command of her form was unlike any I have gone up against. She was the aggressor, but once again, Atreus questions if we have helped the wrong side, referring to the struggle between light and dark elves. The only side we can take in this conflict is our own. It is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. 
You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh, no! No! Atreus! Ah! Follow us! Ah! Hold on! Over here! You're chained! No, sir. Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I. No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. <laughs> Self assault. How fortuitous. I'm so sick of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone?
Let's go!
Actually, no, we need you at 2,000. Yeah, let's do a quick read of the Eos. Dark Elves, seldom does power come without cost. Alfenheim's desert wasn't always a storm and barren wasteland. No, before the temple was built, the desert was teeming with life. Now the light-deprived elves of the barons wage a constant war upon their counterparts in the light world. In their eyes, the Lake of Souls is not theirs to use. How could one blame them? They watched their home waste away as their cousins grew powerful. Dark elves prefer a tactic of swarming you as a group. Yeah, felt that. Disrupt their efforts with hurry hits and parries. Didn't work out so well. Uh, Dark Elves may recover in the air from, from being launched, but not if you launch them once frosted. Okay. Uh, Dark Elf Warriors, a bit tougher than most Dark Elves. These warriors spend their time training and executing routines to the most efficient and deadly extent. As with most Dark Elves, flight remains an important part of their strategy. Should they attack, the sooner we ground them, the sooner we can get the upper hand. Their charge attacks cause temporary blindness which I know you especially hate. Oh yeah, believe me. Uh, they're much easier to kill when grounded. Trip them up if you have the chance. Let's keep moving! Go! Go! Rah! Go! Oh! 
Okay, Dark Elf Summoner. Summoners possess the unit that can be able to call reinforcements at a moment's notice. Not that kind of uh, co uh, cooperation is particularly not a novel concept. If anything, it's one of the more effective strategies out there. As overwhelming as an enemy can be, the quickest way to because because uh, as overwhelming an enemy can be the quickest way to victory. As such, summoners should be taken down as soon as we spot them, as to prevent them from fulfilling their duties. Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. Open the gateway, please. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy. But I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Vulture's gold. In search of peace, the beast finds only war, its last breath of life atop the sands, its last meal a gold beneath the bones. Okay. Can return to the dwarves' home to discuss the next move or explore Alfheim further. Dre senses a creature in pain out in the desert. Fair dues. Well, we will investigate that in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Do do any likes, follows, comments, or subscribes that you may wish you want to do now or in the future. Again, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all that jazz. I make some content for people to enjoy and for myself to keep myself occupied with. Um, until then, I'll see you later.